Hello, Chrissy. I'm going to try to help you out here. So this question is just percentage calculation. Not even a question. Just put in there. All right, and it says, I'm trying to find the percentage of one column of items compared to another, specifically the percentage of online appointments, right? Cool, compared to all orders submitted. I can't figure out the formula. Previously, you tried this thing, case when some, case blah, 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 blah. Okay, whatever. Cool. And however, you don't know what to do with two columns. All right, let's go. Let's go try together. Let's go try together. So I made this web form for you. Well, for me to, to show you. I don't know why I did that. And I have a bunch of order IDs, fake ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have the appointment source online. Some some don't have anything. And I have order submitted. You can see one doesn't have anything. So what we need to do, we need to count these numbers online, right? Divided by the total number of submitted. I have two things happening here. How do we do it? I think the only issue you had is your, your word for sum in your case when it was in the wrong spot, but not a problem. All right, I'm going to do that. Let's, let's get rid of all, let's clear the table. Let's get rid of everything here. And I'm going to make a table in a, uh, well, in, in the, uh, sorry, in the data set editor. Okay. Anyway, whatever. So first of all, what we want to do is we want to get a count of online. So I'm going to call this online appointments. And we're going to break this down in a minute. So I want to say case when, just like how you had it, you, you're correct on that, case when the appointment source equals online, then a one end. Cool, right? So if I do this and I hit validate, then if I just show you, and I'm sure you know this already, online appointment. Let me move my face out of the way. There we go. We start seeing ones where there are online appointments. Duh, not, not a big deal, right? Okay, and now you want to divide it, though, by we have another column called order submitted. And here I'm guessing, right? We have, hey, when there's a one, go count it. When there's not a one, don't you don't care about it. So here's what here's where I think you need to fix your formula. You had put the sum right here or something like that. Let's say you said, uh, blah blah blah. Case when the sum, right, right. So you're, you're it, this is kind of what you don't want to do. You don't want to do the sum. Um, how do I say it? Like after the case when you kind of want it to be at the beginning. That, that's that's basically it. You, you're right there. So watch this. I'm going to do this. So give me this count. Give me the sum of that whole thing. Because we're saying, hey, if it's a one, go put a one there. If not, go put nothing, basically. So now give me the sum of that. And now what you want to do is you want to say divided by the sum of order submitted or something. Because I have a one or a zero for what I have. You could also do the count of the IDs or count distinct to the IDs, whatever you want. Validate. Beautiful. Let's go give it a shot and let's go do online payments. Uh, oh, it's right. It's right there. Online payments. Beautiful. Now let's see it. Let's see if this is correct. What, what am I, what am I showing in here? Order submitted. Right. And I want the sum of that thing. Five. Right, 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 right. Okay, cool. I'm just, I'm just checking out some, some numbers from here. We have order submitted appointment source is online. I want to see this. So for online appointment source five, we're saying, what's this 100% case when the appointment source equals online, which is five divided by five. Oh, I kind of see what you're saying, right? You need to divide by nine, not by five. That's the issue that we're getting. Right. Okay. 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 Let's, and because we have this breakdown, cool. If I take that out, there we go. Sorry, my brain is not working right now. Okay, cool. We got our 56, which is five divided by nine. So the issue is that I had this broken down. I also put an appointment source. That's why it broke it down and it's breaking the, the rows that I have into different components. So you don't want to do it the way that I did it, but we got it. So there you go. If you need if you need to put in online, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to make an ETL and you're going to have to add a constant, which is uh, this is getting more complex. But you the problem is you have to have that number kind of in every single row, like nine 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 in every single row to then do the division. But whatever, we got it right here. You can spiffy it up. You can I don't know do this thing. Twenty three. 
write whatever you want. Cool. Anyway, hopes that helps. Oh, also, before I forget, if you go to my site, dashboarddudes.com slash pantry, I have these videos of me answering other questions. If you hit view all videos, you could see way more. And if you, if you subscribe to it, you can then uh, get notified whenever there is an answer to maybe something that you have a question for. Anyway, good luck to you. Again, that's dashboarddudes.com slash pantry. All right. See ya. Bye.